According to Buddha, in which situation is acceptable to bring harm and exploit animals so that we can feed ourselves? The sort of Vinaya. Buddha mentioned about uh, ordained monks and nuns how to how to take sort of kind of uh, food, uh, which kind of food cho choices are there, and meat is one of them. Because that time, they are you know, uh, ordained monks and nuns go out and you know bowl. What is called that? Begging bowl whichever the people's offering that they need to sort of uh, accept. Then of course sometime the people will offering some meat. But he sort of clearly mentioned one thing is that that meat is not ordinary meat. It's not all the meat is acceptable. The special meat that means like it's not um, kill um, for yourself uh, is you uh, you uh, you didn't see uh, that is kill for yourself and also you uh, didn't hear about uh, it's kill for yourself and also you don't have doubt uh, if these three things is complete or something, then you can, you know, how to say, you can eat that meat. Yeah. But that not means, you know, you can kill uh, animals for your sort of feeding or something like that. Yes. Mm, should we avoid to see the images that show violence, cruelty, and killing of farmed animals? So many people, they don't have to look, they just say, no, it's too ugly. I don't want to look now. in the YouTube, just documentaries, mm -hmm. they avoid to look. Should mm. we look? Should we don't look? Is that any goodness, I mean good effect in our mind to look or bad effect in our mind to look? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think it's difficult to say because some people just, just don't want to see those circumstances. And if some people they thought so those these kind of circumstances then they will change their behavior and motivation towards the animals animal suffering and some people maybe it's just you know um have different reaction that's why it's difficult to difficult to say which kind of reaction their positive or negative reactions uh, people are going to have but i think it's um, always, I think, good to understand uh, their suffering and their sort of uh, circumstance. I think it's, it's important to understand and we need to recognize. What's your thoughts about the dairy, egg, leather, also meat industry and the conditions of the animals in those factories? Because nowadays everything is mostly factories. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you think about, about all that that is happening? It's kind of sad, very sad, because even in, when I was a child in my hometown, even though we are uh, sort of in the, in the which time? Autumn, we're killing some of the animals. But usually they are living in the very good uh, kind of conditions. They have, have freedom and they're not put in a cage or put in one house. They have the sort of freedom that is relatively is kind of a kind of little bit sort of happier than those already sort of... I think some of them, it's maybe they're born in a cage and they die in a cage. Something like they're born in sort of factories and they died in factories, like that. It's very sad. Is consuming dairy products and eggs exploitation and abuse of animals, especially those in factories? Yes, yes, yes. So should we, why is it exploitation and abuse? Or should we avoid, should we 
Of course, we, we should sort of, even we can't stop uh, these, those in, animal factories, but, but we can reduce some of the sort of sufferings, abuses like that, yes. Why are you vegetarian? Actually, I'm becoming vegetarian because, actually, because of, I also saw some videos like that. That is one sort of, um, one, how to say, reason. And also, basically, that reason or maybe the causes is um, already exist and when I was in when I was in child, it's very young, very, how to say, little, like um, three or four years old. That time, uh, when we, in, the, in my hometown, when people were killing the animals, that time, very sort of, um, I'm very sad and, and very, how to say, unbearable, kind of sad. Then that kind of feeling, it's still, I remember, a very strong feeling. I think, yeah, the one reason also that, yes. The production of not only meat, but also milk and egg has a big negative impact on the environment, bring a lot of pain to the animals, a lot of suffering. So now we see a lot of people aware of the meat, but it seems that um, uh, most of us are forgetting the egg, industry and the milk industry, some cows they spend 10 years tied up, they cannot walk and uh, they are supposed to live 20 years but in the factory it's 4 to 5 years, so the situation is so horrible. So, um, so is, is there any possibility like in place like in the monasteries, both let people bring awareness to people also but also make some change like change of milk cow's milk to soy milk, I think it's very much possible in the monasteries. It's, it, and it's, you can make it delicious too, I think. I think it uh, can, uh, we have lots of sort of, actually we can do lots of things, maybe lots of changes. Like, uh, I think uh, even uh, we can change their situation is better, you know. Even we sort of, like uh, in my hometown, like same time, we also drinking milks and also um, uh, we don't eat the eggs, but we're drinking milks. But, but the the situation, their situation is is kind of um, it's quite good, sort of uh, quite uh, happy and good situation. But the problem is they it's become business. It's become like a industry. Uh, this kind of you now system, then everything is very. It's become uh, very difficult. That's why I think uh, we should, uh, one hand, we should imp try to sort of improve their you know, situation in the industry, and so that they can get more better kind of um, care or maybe. Uh, improve their situation. Um, another one is, of course, that then also we, uh, those, um, how to say, uh, consumers, they also maybe, they can react on sort of like um, change it to animal milk, to soy milk like that.